Well, no one can tell me there's never a dull day in Atlas Earth. I thought I could take a little bit of a break today, not talk about anything for some for a little while. Um, play a little bit of Legend of Zelda, maybe even fire up Power World. There was a new update for that. Um, you know, just do a little bit of gaming today because I need a little bit of rest. Uh, I'm kind of on call at work and all that. Well, guess what? <laughs> yeah, so, um, this, uh, Reddit post came out earlier today from Optimal Shape 7369. I assume this is one of those, um, anonymous or new accounts welcome to reddit by the way uh talking about that starting the explorers club on the 90th day for a month and then canceling your subscription is apparently a terms of service violation now i have done this a couple times and i have not and they haven't said anything about a violation of any sort matter of fact i recommend it because we calculate just how much we need in order to you know how to maximize uh, the, and get the most out of your Explorer Club in Atlas Bucks wise. So, um, Mod Manning over here, their mod, had explained that no single player has ever been banned or even been given a warning for this exploit. 99% of players who subscribe to Explorer Club do not do this. At some point, we will close this loophole, but right now we are focusing our efforts on improving gameplay and adding new features which benefit the entire community. My point was to communicate this is not uh, this is not what is designed to do and preparing those who use this exploit that it will go away. It's not going away anytime soon and I will announce it here when it does tr to try to be as transparent as possible. So before we end this, I also want to talk about a special sort of, um, it's not really a glitch, more so that like just taking advantage of the time zone difference. So I, I guess there was a huge argument going on here and you can check the comment section. Um... Matter of fact, let me get the link up here if you can see it. There's the link. Um, if you all want to go check it out, uh, it's right here. Uh, I might type it as well somewhere on the bottom. I don't know. So there was a long debate going on here about whether or not um, there was... Uh, the, the exploit was a bad thing or not. And there was a bit of a feeling amongst the populace here that um, Atlas Earth was blaming the users for this exploit. Now, uh, they have said that they're going to change it so that it's probably only going to be 30 days instead of one month. So um, whatever I put on that Explorers Club video, I thought I would use this video to go ahead and update that. Um, I know there's not going to be too much of an update from that video. You just got to go and check the 30 day one, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and calculate, uh, just exactly how many Atlas bucks it would be for 30 days. If you started at a particular day and you can see here from day one, you're making 3,520 for a 30 day period. And I'm only doing 30 day periods. I'm aware February has 28 or 29 days, so they might still keep that. But for everything else, if they're going to be doing it for every 30 days rather than one month, which is, I assume, what the change is going to be, then this is what you can expect from here on out. And so the worst one, I believe, is going to be between the days of 15 to 30, where you're only going to be getting 3,189 Atlas Bucks. The best one is now going to be down here and any time after day 75, and part of that is because from day 75, you kind of go over to day 14, where you also get the day 7 and 14 bonuses. Now, this is just me assuming that they're just going to cut it to 30 days rather than a full month. Um, again, that's what I saw on the Explorer Club strategy, that the 31-month days are going to be a huge advantage for, uh, for the player. But with 30 days, it does kind of end any sort of special bonuses like that jump from day 90 to day 30, over here, or the jump from day 60 to day 90. Um, it still makes the end of the logins uh, the best option, so if they still think that that's cheating, I'm wondering, and this is just a completely hypothetical thing, so, you know, this is not going to be something that is going to be for sure it's going to happen, all right? But what if they made it so that as soon as you buy your Explorer Club, you reset back to day one? That's what I'm wondering if they're going to be doing that. 
Because if they force your reset to day one, if you just buy Explorer Club, then they would be able to keep it a fixed 3500 And then the next one, it would be 3369 And then the final one would be 4039 yeah, 61 and 90. And then it would go back to 3,520. I'm wondering if that's something that they're planning on doing. Again, I'm just completely speculating. I have no idea what they're planning on doing, but I could see this as a possibility if they're talking about abusing the system. But in the past, if we're talking about what we could do in the past, like a 31 day Atlas Bucks previously, um, you are actually benefiting a lot if you followed the day 60 to 90 or day 90 to 30. Um, there's a lot of differences here. Like it makes day 60 a lot less desirable to get the Explorer Club. If they want it to be more uniform, I could see them having you just automatically reset as soon as you buy Explorer Club at day one. Um, but if not, I mean, it is, it makes it less abusive if they call it abusive anyway. I, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't think it's abusive. I personally think that, you know, if you paid for, uh, if you paid for the Explorer Club, you pay fifty dollars for this. You want to try to get the most that you can out of it. Fifty bucks is a lot of money. I know a lot of people are saying, "Oh, fifty bucks is just fifty bucks." You know, you probably spend more than that. Yeah, we're looking for beer money here. That's the thing. Most of these memberships, like Bridge Money, is fifty-two dollars a year. We're talking fifty bucks for a month. So I try to look at some kind of progress in the game. So if they're trying to make it so that it's going to be just straight up 30 days, hey, cool. I like that because the tills, it does take care of February, but I also kind of wished that Atlas Earth staff kind of saw that in the beginning. I think I even mentioned in that video, I was like, are they going to do this by a month or by 30 days? Because usually when most companies do something like this and they do some kind of subscription. It's usually every 30 days because they usually take into account February. They usually take into account there's a lot of 31 day months as well. So keeping it consistent is usually a 30 day period. I'm a little surprised that it took them this long to figure that out. Oh, by the way, I should mention this too. The mod over at Atlas Earth Mod Manning also issued an apology. Um, didn't mean to cause so much drama regarding this and didn't mean to publicly shame anyone or create any trust issues. At least in this case, they're transparent enough to tell you, hey, this is, hey, you know, they screwed up and that's fine. That, that That's the most that, you know, that that's the most that someone can ask for in that situation, I feel like. Well, I mean, other than, you know, the person feeling offended getting Atlas Bucks or something like that in customer service. Not that, not that I think they would deserve it or anything, but they did deserve at least an apology for feeling accused of something like this. I, I think Zarth's um, opinion here is probably explains it best to me, which is, you know, an exploit would be something like, you know, going outside of the parameters of an app. Um, for example, we know that you have to spend five diamonds a day, but if you are, but if there's some glitch that's going on, that's allowing you to get to use a hundred, 200 diamonds a day. Well, you know, that is kind of a, uh, exploit in a way but with the explorers club they had it designed that they were going to do it every month so that doesn't just include the 31 day months that also includes february which is a 28 day month and i'm assuming they probably might have seen like sales in february for the explorers club drop hard because people realized oh it's only a 28 day month and if they're going by the month and that means i'm not going to get much out of it it would have been a lot more useful, in my opinion, to just have a straight up 30 day subscription from the beginning. And if that's what they're going to change this to, then yes, go ahead and do that going forward. That's fine. But in my opinion, I feel like they should have seen this from the beginning. I, I, I just don't know why they wouldn't have seen that. Like I would have loved, it would have been a lot easier for me to calculate a 30 day month here rather than having to have a chart for 28 days, 29 days, 30 days, and 31 days. I would love just show this and that would have been it, you know? That, and that's all I'm saying. I would have loved that. Let me put this back. So um, these are the new guidelines because I'm assuming it's going to be 30 days. Just letting you all see this. Uh, let me know what you think about this uh, latest thing from Atlas Earth. Uh, yeah. I, I really don't have too much to say about that hasn't already been said on Reddit. Uh, I'll leave links to the Reddit posts so that you all can see them as well. Um, Atlas Earth, you guys, look, look, I love that they're transparent. I love that they're actually 
trying to do relative good overall in the beer money community and that they're really that their design is really good and that they do deserve a lot less flack than what they get but come on guys come on this was supposed come on 31 days in a month like it looked like the design for this login system was meant for 30 days like it was even a 30 day 60 day and 90 day guideline i even was wondering why you didn't do the 30 days it did it every 30 days to begin with but if that, if that fix is happening now, cool, that fix is happening now. These would be the new guidelines. Um, the only question, I'm not, I'm 99% sure that's what they're going to do. The other one that I'm not 100% sure on, I'm maybe like 50, 50, 50, conf, 50, 50 confidence on, honestly, is if they're going to reset to day one when you get a new Explorer Club um, and, and you don't renew. Uh, I don't know if they even have the power to do that considering the merchant system that they're using, but... Um, if so, then yeah, just follow the day one. Otherwise, find your day and just go like this, basically. And for example, if you start at day 61, there you go. You're getting that for the month. So basically, the new guideline once for the Explorer Club, once this change goes around, buy from day 75 on. And that's pretty much the video, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a like. Comment what you think about the changes to Explorers Club and this whole drama. Um, I want to get back to making actual, you know, other videos that don't involve drama on Thursday. I actually have a video on personal finance that I'm working on now for next week that I really want to talk about. So yeah, that's pretty much it, everyone. I will see you all next time. Don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. Forgot about that one. Right. I'll have the subscribe button somewhere as well. Uh, Pharaoh Finance, Pharaoh Silver, out. See y'all next time. Bye.